Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to look at how to split a database to create multiple front ends for different users. So you can see here, I've already got one done. There's a database backend, BE backend, and then I've created copies, database user one, two, and three. Now, if I open this one, you can see um, when you open the database, it's just got some tables two tables. And if I go back and open a user, you can see what happens here. So you have a link, a little arrow, blue arrow pointing to these tables. This user has got some forms. If I open this form, you're able to color your form in, do whatever you want to your forms. If I open a different user, user two, user two, open the form. This person hasn't colored it in, she's just got, got the default form. And this is how it works. And you can have a front end and one back end and everybody can use the back end. You can also restrict data entry. So if I go into properties on this form, uh, sorry, get into the form, design, and then properties, you can actually set uh, on the data tab whether you're going to allow people to do any additions, yes, no, deletes, edits, yes, no, and stuff like that. So you could create users where uh, we're just allowed to look at records for whatever reason and other users that are allowed to edit the records, if that's how you want to set it up. Quite often databases are just there for information, not necessarily entering data. And you can then set this up these user things before you copy them, you could set them up with a opening form. Um, so you've got a menu form there and they just navigate around and they don't see this. You can hide all this. You can't actually do anything to these tables. So when you try and open a table, if I go into design on this, it's going to come up and tell me it's a linked table where design can't be modified because the actual tables themselves are sat in the back end database and not in this one. So it's quite safe. And if you see these little arrows, that's what that usually means. These tables are linked. You sometimes see linked to Excel files and stuff like that. Same sort of thing. So let's go through the process of how I did this. So if I open up a different database, I've got one set up in test training. This is it. So the process will be, you go to the database tools tab, you click on access database. This widget tells you that you're going to do this and what to do if you've got passwords and stuff like that. And you, you may have a long process and as always make a backup before you start. And then you select split database. It's asking for a location. So I'm going to put it into this, this location here, test split. So it said it's done it. So if I have a look at split, there's the back end. Now if I open that, it should just show me the back end of that database, the two tables. Now the, the front end of that, I'll close it down again. I'll go back into Windows Explorer. This is um, the, the front end of that. So that was the original database. It's now got the two little arrows going to the tables, but the forms are still the same. So what you do is, if I close that down, you copy that one. So I'll copy the database and then just paste it and rename that as training user two, and then rename this one as training user one. So if I open training user one, enable content, just to show you that I can do that. Um, I'll open this form and there's my form. I'm going to design on this form. I'll change the color scheme on it so you can see what happens. Bear with us while I do some horrendous color schemes. Select that, everything bold, change the font to black so you can see it. 
save the changes, close it down, close the whole database down. Let's close that one down as well. Come back to that was user one, user two. On this one, open the customers again. Enable everything open customers. It's not blue. Go into that design. Select the color. So I'll do some that color, which is nearly as bad as the other one. Doing colors is not my best thing, but that'll do just to get the point over. And then I'll close that one down. And if I go back and open up user one, customers, got a blue table, and user two, training user two, customers, it's got a pink table. And if you go into design on that, and go into properties, you can then go data, and you can set up the edits. So allow edits. I say no, this person won't be able to edit. Um, allow data entry. So I could have allowed them to do data entry, but I've said no edits now, so that's not happened. But you could have said data entry is allowed, but ed deletions is, is not allowed for this user. And then you copy it, um, depending on how many people you want, and you maybe have the same properties for several people, you copy them across. And then you distribute these front ends to the relevant people. And that's basically how you split an access database. So I hope that was of use to you and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.